All right, what's the first thing you think of when you think of Christmas? That's right, alcoholism. But you thought I was gonna say the birth of baby Jesus, didn't you? And what's the first thing you think of when you think of drunk people? Weather spoons, which is where we're going today. Hopefully I don't wind up drunk this time though. Mrs. Beard be mad. All right, so it took a little bit of convincing, some uh, some smoothing over, some canoodling, but uh, they finally let me film and uh, I picked a great spot next to this humongous festive erection. I'm gonna keep using that joke. I'm gonna order some stuff now, and I think we're gonna go for pretty much everything from the new festive menu, because it looks delicious. I don't spend a lot of time in Weatherspoons, but one of the saving graces, one of the, the best parts about eating at Weatherspoons or drinking at Weatherspoons is that app. Zero human interaction, you just order your food to your table and uh, jobs are good. And what is it? Is it man with beard? It, my, my channel's name is uh, Beard Meets Food. Beard Meets Food. Because I'm a beard, right? So, uh... I might like to stick it on and have a look. Yeah, well, if, if you do that, do it after you've eaten food. Otherwise, it'll put you off for life. You won't want to eat your lunch. Right, here we go. Full Weatherspoons festive menu 2019. Looks delicious. Don't quite have a big enough table to, uh, to get it all in shot, but there's some other stuff uh, lying around. I'm gonna start a timer just for fun and uh, see if we can take it down. Sorry about this, by the way. <laughs> no, no, just talk at my camera just like a crazy person. You know? I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Right, start with the Christmas dinner. The turkey and stuffing. What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back and uh, listen to this music. If this doesn't get you in the festive spirit, nothing will. But today's video is uh, it's kind of by popular demand. Uh, it's Weather Spoons, which I've done before. A lot of people asked me to do it again. I thought the uh, the festive menu would be the perfect excuse to do so, and it didn't disappoint. It was fantastic. It's more like it. Yeah, northern boys love gravy, especially at Christmas. I'm not sure about mash and potatoes. Oh, they're parsnips. I'm not sure about peas on a Christmas dinner. Quite thankful it's not sprouts though. Yeah, very happy to dodge the Brussels sprouts. Hate those things. Let's put the gravy. All right, it's the Christmas dinner. Just about done. Next we got the vegetarian burger. You out of your goddamn mind? I know, but it's on the festive menu, so. Yeah, vegetarian though it may have been, it was actually one of the standout things on the menu. Surprisingly delicious. You know, for a vegetarian option, that was flipping lovely. I'm gonna move some of the chips. I'm trying to make space. Ugh. Next is the brie and cranberry panini, which looks fantastic. Oh, look at that, nice and gooey and juicy. This was another one of my favorites. Enjoy yourself. Oh, thank you, I will. He definitely thinks I've escaped from the closest mental asylum I'm doing. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> so that was uh, an old couple sat across from me, two pensioners. The guy was just laughing the whole time. <laughs> and his wife was just sat there horrified. Here's another one. People don't know what's going on. I don't think it helps that I'm so close to the toilet, so... Um... Lots of people give me the stink eye. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, pun slightly intended. It's a pretty good one, stink eye, toilet. Get it? Nah, no, you're right, it's terrible. All right, panini done. Ugh. This plate has got all manner of stuff on it. Do the uh, brie and um, bacon burger, which is topped with some pigs in blankets. Yeah, now this one, this looked decent but it was really a little too dry for me. Not enough sauce. Move the timer forward just a little bit. Can't really tell if you can see it. Hopefully you can. I'd say it's, uh, it's abundantly clear you can see it. 
But at the time, it, the, the camera's pretty far away from me, farther away than it looks. I want to focus a bit more on the festive stuff than just the chips, so... Uh, this one doesn't look quite as nice as the last panini, which, by the way, was fantastic. You can actually hear the crunch there. The, the brie and cranberry panini from earlier was one of the standouts. It was really gooey, moist, sweet. This was just too dry and overdone. You want some? I just overheard that guy calling me an eating champion. Champion of what? I won one contest last year. <laughs> what? Yeah, but I played pretty well in some of the other ones. Came like third, fourth, won some decent prize money. It's not all bad. That one was a bit rough, thank God for the cranberry sauce, which is basically just like Hartley's jam. Pure sugar, not seen one cranberry yet, but I'm not complaining, I love jam. Oh, there's so much cranberry sauce left here. Yeah, they certainly don't skimp on the cranberry sauce, probably because it's one of the cheaper things to produce, but it went perfect with these pigs in blankets, which again were stellar. I've got to say, the pigs in blankets are bang on. I don't know how you get a, a pig in a blanket wrong, but these taste very good. Do the Christmas burger next. This definitely looks like the, the best, the best looking one. Look at that. Not to wrap my gob around this thing. Gob. For those of you that aren't English or British, you might not know what that means. But gob is just slang for, for mouth. I'm, I'm just saying it was, it was quite large, hard to eat, you know, a little bit impractical. Alright, let's finish the fries. We can move on to the fun stuff. Chips, not fries. Well, the spoons is an English tradition. Wow. Yeah, it's okay, you can shout, just um I was thinking I might put you off your lunch if you if you watch me, so Oh, I watch short video, are you doing? Oh really? Yeah, oh thank you. That sounded really sarcastic. I was I was actually being sincere. Kids these days though. Come in trashing up my video. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, the channel name is Beard Meets Food. Yeah? You should know the name it, shouldn't you? <laughs> nah, give him a bit of a hard time. But uh, this is always fun, you know, when you get to interact with fellow patrons, whether they recognise you or not. Uh, it always makes for great banter, as we say here. Yeah, I hate spicy food, but um, those tend to be the most fun videos for people to watch. But yeah, no, I hate it. But yeah, it's, it hurts. I don't know how old he is, but compared to some of the other stuff I've done, that's... Oh, so I'm shutting down it, yeah, 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 throw it out of me. The chips were rough. Watch this back, I really hope that guy does not give his son the uh, Pakwi one chip for Christmas. Or I could have a lawsuit on my hands. It, so officially, I, I don't sanction that kind of behaviour. <laughs> Alright, thank God. Dessert time. Mince pie. Yeah, you guys know me, I'm a sugar head, and uh, I've been slacking a bit on the dessert orders after challenges lately, so made sure to cover that base. In this video, I got uh, every one of the desserts from the festive menu. So the mince pie was was good. It tasted like a good quality, luxury level mince pie. Very tasty, very rich. This is the Biscoff uh, Marshmallow Brownie, I think, which I don't really know what's festive about that, but it tasted good, I love Biscoff. And the standout option when it comes to uh, the desserts they offer is this, the Baileys and chocolate bread pudding with custard. Man, this was good. The only thing that I didn't quite enjoy was just how cold it was. Couldn't really do much about that. I'm sure if you get to it piping hot, it would be even better. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to film. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments equally. If you disliked the video, then don't be afraid to share your thoughts and views below. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this, I should mention, actually, for the stickles out there, there are two things missing from the festive menu, because I know somebody's going to call me out on it. One is an 8-inch Christmas pizza, 
So it's a shame to miss out on that, but the other thing is Mushroom Risotto, which is in no way festive, so forget that. This isn't on the uh, Christmas menu they gave me as kind of a freebie, because I filmed here before, but I don't know. Maybe I'll eat it on the way home. But there we have it, the entire Weatherspoon's festive menu in like 36 minutes. That was rich. <laughs> nay, nee, I'm out on the session now, darling. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what time we'll be back. 